Today I'm going to show you how you can make your own books for your baby or your toddler with pictures that you know would be of interest to your kid. I have done this over the years with classrooms of children when I've been a teacher and then I've also made lots of books for my own kids and there's lots of different ways that you can do it but um, I'm just going to show you a really simple method here um, today and this is one that you can do real easily at your house. So why would you want to make your own books? Well, one reason is this. If your child is going to be going to child care in some way, like either a child care center or someone's going to come to your home and you are going to leave, any time that they are going to be separated from you, they would probably love to have some pictures of you to look at while you're gone. It's a really neat way to stay connected when you're apart. And also, if you um, use this method I'm going to show you, then it's one that actually can go in the mouth and then you can just wipe it clean and it's no problem for infants and toddlers. And so I'm going to go ahead and just show you how to make it. I, let me show you what I have for supplies. I've got little pieces of paper and this is just cardstock that I've cut into squares. And then I went on to my computer and I just picked out some photographs and printed them. I printed about 10 pictures here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna make a little book for um, my grandkids and I'm gonna mail it to them just as a little gift. And, um, and so these are photographs that we took last time they were here and I just want them to remember some of the fun things that they did while we were here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the photograph and just glue it to the paper. And so I'll glue it to the paper. And then once I have them all glued, and then I'm gonna run them through my laminator, and then I'll tape them all together in the order that I want to make a little book. So I'm just gonna do that real quick and show you how it's done. And then we'll talk in a sec. Now that I've got all the pictures glued to the paper, I'm gonna put them in the laminating sheets, and then we'll run them through. So I've got my, my photographs laminated, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put them in the order that I want. I kind of thought through this in advance, which one I wanna have on the cover, and then what I wanna have you know, inside the book. And so I'm gonna put these in order. I'm gonna put Mimi and Pops on the front cover, and then on the back of that side is the dog. So I'm gonna put the other dog picture right here, and the way this works is I'm just gonna lay them here together and then I'm gonna use this tape and just tape it, tape it together. And so as you can see, as you open up the book, then all the pictures are there and there's my back cover. And so the way I'm gonna finish this off is I'm just gonna take one piece of tape and put it on the outside binding here and that will seal it up nicely and keep it all put together. So there's my little book. And as you can see, I made it this size on purpose because I want their little hands to be able to handle it and manipulate it really easily on their own. This can um, be popped into the diaper bag real easily. They can take it in the car and have it in their car seats. They have those little slide things, you know, where they can put their toys and stuff in the car seat. But anyways, here's my little book. I'm gonna send it to those kiddos and remind them of all the fun that we had together here. So another way that you can make homemade books is to do the sim same simple idea, and that is to take just a piece of card cardstock that's colored, and you know you can just print the photograph straight onto the cardstock, or you can cut out magazine pictures, things that you think would be interesting, and have those you know as your pictures, and then you can put these inside a Ziploc bag, and then do the same way of sealing it up to bind it together. Another thing you can use is clear contact paper if you have, you know, you don't have access to a laminator or a laminating film. You know, you can go to the office supply store and they do have little slip covers where you can put things in and, and it's kind of self laminating. And so that would be another option for you too. The cool thing to do, especially right now with the way that we are not traveling as frequently is this would be a way for your children to get to know your family members who live in other parts of the country or you just don't get to see them very often. You can make photo photograph books and then sh look at these with your child, talk about it, talk about the names of the people and and who they are and you know tell them things about them. And that way, when your child does finally meet some aunts and uncles that they haven't met yet, or they get to be with your parents and they haven't seen them in quite a while, 
then it'll be just a little bit more familiar. It's just a way for us to stay connected while we are separated. And it's a great way for you to stay connected with your child when you are apart from one another. You will love watching your baby's face as they look at the book that you've created and um, they will light up when they see themselves and they'll light up when they see you in the book. Um, some other, you know, kinds of pictures that you could put inside your book would be like you might even have themed books like you might do pictures of their shoes or you might have pictures of animals or you might have pictures of their favorite foods or um, their bedroom, you know, you might have pictures of their bedroom. You know, what seems like kind of not that big a deal to us is kind of a big deal to little kids. They are very interested in their own small little world. And so by making a book that has pictures of that, that would be neat. And they would probably really enjoy telling other people about it. Um, when your child gets a little bit older, you know, like three, four, five, they can do this with their own artwork. They can create books of their own and um, you can just continue with blank pages. They can do some writing in there. It's just the, there's, the possibilities are limitless when you make your own books and it's a really fun activity. So there you go. I hope you have some fun making some books for your kid and we will uh, talk next time. Bye-bye. I'm very wet. Do you want to look at it? Huh? Whoa. What is it? I mean, me, me, and Pops. And then, and there's more. Once upon a time, there was Goober and Candace. Here comes my favorite pet. Oh, yeah? Yes. Licka and Pops were, 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 sauce, were saucy. And Emmy and 